The ant was in sulfuric acid, had a seizure, turned to goo instantly. I mean, if that's not enough to convince you that our life can't survive in sulfuric acid and why people are so horrified to even entertain the idea there's life in the sulfuric acid clouds of Venus, I mean, I don't know what is. We took our 20 biogenic amino acids and put them in sulfuric acid, hmm. stable, with one exception. You know, some of them are chemically modified, but they're stable. Our DNA is unstable, but part of the DNA, the latter part, ACGT, stable. Hmm. I mean, that's just the tip of the iceberg. It's absolutely astonishing to us and others. Wow. And what this means is that this sulfuric acid, which previously everyone was like, there's no way that life could exist in there. Now, what you've proven through these experiments is that the components that make up life could exist. And so even though DNA itself and the structure we know of it on Earth can't exist there, it opens up this door of possibility. It does. That some other fundamentally different type of DNA it does, yeah. could exist in that. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to synthesize in the lab that a kind of DNA by swapping out parts is right. stable in sulfuric acid. So I can convince you and others that it is worth spending the big bucks to go to Venus to search for life.